Okay. Hi, YouTube world. Since I am uh, currently broke, uh, but when I had a job previously, I uh, didn't have a focus, so uh, I wasn't investing in tech. Um, real quickly, I want to just throw this out there because I know people are watching, and uh, I also know the appropriate people, or why well, I say appropriate, um, the people who inspired me, at least a, a couple of of uh, people that are, you know, on YouTube that uh, that are communicating with me through Twitch, um, because, so, okay, I had heart surgery in June, and, uh, you know, I was pretty scared, and it really uh, uh, made me reconsider a lot of life choices I made, because, you know, I've made a lot of bad ones. But uh, that's part of my message, and I'll have videos like that, too. Uh, I really want mental health and recovery um, to be my focus, because, honestly, uh, you know, I just, I feel like I don't want people to suffer uh, and go through what I did, so um, I just like to say um, my main message is stop thinking you have the answers and just start asking different questions and keep going until you get on the right track and, you know, things start to fall into place, especially when you find a focus. But anyways, so I was watching, uh, uh, somebody told me one time, Hey, check out this Russian death metal band and shared a link. Um, I'm a big hockey fan, big hockey car collector. And I think it was in a hockey car group. Some Canadian dude said, check out, uh, um, some group. Uh, I think they were called slaughtered to prevail. Yeah. So, anyways, Alex Terrible. Hey, buddy. Alex, you're the main inspiration um, that really got me started in YouTube. But because of you, I found this whole community like Nick, uh, Nocturnal, and Orion Reacts, um, Finn McKinty, definitely a big one, the punk rock, uh, DBA, um, the Dickie Dine Show, all that stuff. And I just... I think it's so amazing and there's so much, uh, support and actual real, like real support, um, uh, in the community. This is what I want to do because I have lots of opinions, that's for sure. Um, but I am getting into newer music. And so I thought what better way to start out, which I'm sorry guys, you know, it, it'll get better. But for right now, I mean, you can go watch the video. You guys got YouTube, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So, Alluvial, which I heard about on Nick Nocturnal, and uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, uh, I believe it's a guitar player from Intervals. Nick Nocturnal interviewed him, and uh, he played uh, a couple of the songs um, uh, from Alluvial off their new EP that I believe is coming out in, I don't know, January? I'm sorry, uh, Wes and Kev, who I did actually get to meet because I went to uh, a concert in Kansas City. In between their big tour on intervals, I got to meet them, and they gave me an interview poster and stuff. I mean, I bought the poster, but they all autographed it. I said interview, I think, but they autographed it, and like I, I really got to see face-to-face -face the metal love that's out there. But they just dropped this video, and I've heard this song a million times, so it's not an instant reaction. But uh, I bought this little stand to try and do this with my phone, which I just got not long ago. It's been a crazy couple months. We'll go over stuff. But anyways, without further ado, JJ's World is bringing a reaction for Fog Belt, which is the newest uh, video from Alluvial. Which, if you don't know, check them out. They are amazing. And Wes uh, Hatch, my gosh, that guy has got to be one of the most original, like, metal guitar players in a long time. But anyways, Fog Belt, let's go. Yeah, you'll find out I like to say let's go a lot. Sorry. But uh, once Tom Brady retired, it was cool to say again. So anyways. Ah, I'm going to react to KFC. I had them the other day. Let's just say um, I feel sorry for the uh, legacy of Colonel Sanders. Not that it was that great to begin with, but boy, their chicken just ain't the same. I'll still eat it in a pinch. Anyways.
Heck yeah. I don't know where he gets the... Uh... I love that scream. It's so good. That guitar band. Ugh. So I think this was filmed in uh, San Francisco. I believe I saw something on Instagram about it. And by the way, it is just as good live. Yeah, and Tim Walker, the bassist, really, they're all nice guys. So much energy live. But this song. <laughs> yes, this stuff right there. That weird twitchy riff. Yep, yeah, this breakdown, insane. I don't know if you can tell, but I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I want to show this. I just kind of put it in a plastic thing, but it's the Lubio at the Rhino, Kansas City, which is so small. There was only like 30 people there. Sorry, I got to keep looking because uh, my phone will shut off sometimes if I leave it recording and don't pay attention. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> I also have to add that the Rhino, Kansas City, everybody was into the music and you know, kind of moshing in their personal space. But I'd never been to a show, even in a small one, where everybody was so respectful that nobody actually bumped in each, into each other. I would love to see him at a show where there's a pit. Oh, my God. I don't get in many pits, but I would get in the pit for this. Oh, man. So, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't remember the drummer's name. I follow him on Instagram, but uh, he is doing an amazing job. Because, shut up, Walmart ad. Because, to be honest, uh, hold on. Hmm. Anyways, let's do this. So, um, yeah, I don't know how he can play those riffs at all. But anyway, so as I look up for the new video, um, I was able to talk to uh, Kev Mahler, the singer who used to be in a, a group called Suffocation, which I know has been around forever, an old uh, New York death metal band there, uh, pretty old school. But anyways, uh, he said that I guess the whole concept was like, horror movie, like 1970s, 80s type of grindcore, which is cool. I'm going to show you the poster, which you can see right there. But um, I'll try to get you a better pick real quick. Ugh! Hi, camera. Ugh! If I don't fall in my own room, I'm going to get that sucker framed. 
But yeah, the autographs are here. And look, it's even rated R. It's, it is straight up a movie poster. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, um, different people have told me, you know, if you're going to make YouTube videos, be yourself. So I'm sorry about the belt, but, uh, I, um, uh, I do have some, uh, digestion issues. So it, it actually helps me feel better. Anyways, that's not an excuse. Um, so, uh, fog belt. I swear to God that, uh, from the moment I heard that first, you know, bend harmonic or whatever it is, which by the way, I want to point out, Wes has like videos where he's, uh, I guess kind of showing off guitars for Ibanez. But if you ever want to learn how to play any of his stuff, um, which I, as soon as I can get a seven string and more practice than I want to learn, but I'm really into some of their older stuff. They had an album a couple of years ago and there's a song called Ulysses. But anyway, so Fog Belt, that song was what caught my ear on, uh, on, uh, Nick Nocturnal whenever the intervals, uh, guy, I think his name was Brian something. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I've been out of it, so I don't know everybody's name yet, but uh, also horrible with names. But yes, it's so good. Um, so I heard that bend and that riff, and, and uh, then I went and looked up Bog Dweller, and uh, wow, they're amazing. Video is, uh, you know, just trying to capture the live energy. Uh, but yeah, I think they're definitely a band on the rise. They definitely might be a band that, your favorite band, like, either knows or looks up to because of Wes. Anyways, JJ's World signing off. Orion, thank you for the support on Twitch tonight. Just, I don't know, you know, uh, I'm not 15, but whenever someone who inspires me, like Orion, uh, you know, communicates with me, and I realize that he's seen a video I made, whew, warms my heart, man. And uh, also, Mike, Le Mike Leone, um, who's a bass guitar player on Twitch. Thank you. I was watching you earlier. Dude, you're awesome. You guys are all awesome. Um, the community's awesome. And Alluvial, go check out uh, Fog Belt. And uh, also want to shout out real quick, I saw Summoning the Leash, or Litch, or however you say it, another great band who has quite a, a bit of stuff out on YouTube. So support the community. Stay up. JJ's world. Have fun, people. All right. Thank you.